Okay, good. Hi everyone, I am Mandy. And I'm John. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to do a pumpkin carving. But since this Halloween is a little different, we thought we'd also spice things up a little bit. But I feel like we're not dressing very Halloween like. Should we get change? Okay. Alright. Now we're gonna put our rings down because it's gonna get messy. The first step is to get all the seeds out. And the bonus with carving a pumpkin is you actually get to eat the seeds. So what I usually do is I just cut right around the stem of the pumpkin. Create a big hole right in the middle. Just kind of using the knife as like a little saw. Also, you want to save this part though, because you're going to want to replace it when you put the light inside. After you carve it, you want to light up the pumpkin so you can see the design the best way. Well, looks like it's time to take the gloves off. Mandy, why don't you come help me carve the second one and take off the top while I start scooping. It's really important to have a big bowl like this to start scooping out the seeds. And yeah, it's gonna get a little messy. Do I just cut it on the top? Yep, just slice, push it in. Whoa, whoa. Okay. So you can either use your hands or you can use some of the tools that we've got. So here, let me try and see what I can do with the scoop right here. Yeah, I can smell the pumpkin. If you don't know, carving pumpkin is our annual tradition. We've been doing this for the past four years, I would say. Pretty slimy. But don't worry, even if there's like some slime on the pumpkin <laughs> seeds like this, I'm gonna show you a trick how to clean them. Look, gross. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's like a workhouse. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> See, it's 
Since I am dressing as a cat today, I am thinking about doing a cat as well to match my entire outfit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just keeps coming and coming. You sure you don't want to go into this thing? I'm good. We're gonna get more pumpkins out. Let's try this scraping tool now for the sides. Now the pumpkin is shiny. So my first memories of making a pumpkin actually go way back to uh, the house I grew up in Massachusetts where we had a similar island like this and we would carve the pumpkin with my dad and my two brothers. And what we'd actually do is we'd actually sit on top of the island and reach our hands and carve, but I don't think Mandy and I can sit on top of this island right now. No, we're gonna break it if we did it. The workout, my, my arm is getting a little tired here. <laughs> do you want me um, to take off your mustache? No. It's kind of... <laughs> It's blocking me talk. No, no, I, it, no, 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 yes. I'm in character. It's fine, it's, it's fine. Okay. It's okay. It's I fine. think you understand. No, it's, it's fine. fine. I, Let me take it out. It might hurt. Now you can see, John. Alright. So what I'm gonna do is, I tape this picture on the pumpkin. Then I draw based on this picture. Then I take it off and started to carve. So you can see here, we got a lot of pumpkin guts in here, right? So what I'm actually gonna do is, a little trick is if you put some water into this bowl, the pumpkin seeds are actually gonna float to the top. So we're gonna do that, then we're gonna strain them even more. After that, we're actually gonna boil them with some salt water to give them a little bit of flavor. And that'll again take more of this pumpkin look off, and then we gotta dry them before we roast them. All right. So before we had like a lot of pumpkin guts right on the pumpkin seeds, but now by adding water into the bowl, you can see we've mostly removed them, and then the guts are all the way on the bottom. So we're gonna boil them, like I said, in salt water. Think about it like you boil pasta in salt water, right? And you get all that flavor of the salt, and then you know you put your sauce on top. We're gonna do something pretty similar, except for instead of sauce, we're gonna put different spices like paprika, chili powder, salt, pepper, sugar, all the good stuff. Very typical, I do all the work and John is watching football laying down on the couch. Losing football. Alright, so I'm gonna pour a little bit of vanilla extract into some uh, melted butter here. Give it a little stir. And then we're gonna go to work and we're gonna do a little bit of painting basically. And the other one, what we're gonna do is we are just gonna take, you know, a few capfuls. And again, get our hands dirty, right? But this oil, what it'll really help it do is get nice and crispy, so you know, prevent everything from sticking. So, all right, so we've got all of our pumpkin seeds again, coated in some oil, right? Some frying oil a little bit here. And then, similar to what we did last, Going. All right, so we're just gonna hit it with some chili powder, some paprika, yeah, hit it with a good amount of salt. All right, I just finished my pumpkin. It looks good. Then I can see a little bit of pieces hanging inside, but I think I'm good with it. Now, I'm gonna clean John's pumpkin. Wow, he picked up that ghost picture but he didn't do any carving. This is all me. This is John's pumpkin. It feels like 
He is a student and he is assigned the homework, but his mom is doing the homework. That's what I felt like. Hey. That's happened before. Let's see what we've got here. So, unlike the other batch, you can definitely see these ones are still, you know, they're still kind of holding their original color. What we want to do is we want to kind of get them to be golden brown. But what we do want to do is we do want to kind of give them a stir, see if we can flip them over as much as we can, just to make sure that both sides get, you know, a chance to be able to be cooked. So I would say here, let's put them in for another 10 minutes, come back and check, and see if we get that golden brown color. Okay, looks like we got our pumpkin seeds to be that golden brown that we're looking for. Alright, we're so excited. We shared with you how we did it. The result is not bad at all. Hopefully next year we can see you guys out at Halloween in our costumes. Alright, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up.